What's going on guys, your boy Maisie, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, me doing the Red LR Elizabeth Showcase for you guys with Red Sariel as the main DPS on Nidhogg. So this is going to be a little crazy guys, but we uh, have the clip here where I actually did get the clear, and I uh, wanted to showcase this team specifically because I wanted to show you guys how strong Red uh, LR Elizabeth is by running her alongside the fact that we have Red Sariel, which is a unit from literally the beginning of the game, pretty much. So for you guys that don't know what the Elizabeth does, I'm going to put this on the screen as well. Uh, but in PvE battles, the ally's basic stats increase by 6% up to 30% whenever the hero heals an ally. The hero's ultimate moon gauge fills up by one orb whenever the hero uses a skill. And if a hero uses an attack skill, buffs uh, are removed from the enemy before the skill activates. And then in all game modes, uh, ally's recovery rate increases by 20% whenever the hero heals an ally. So pretty much the way it's going to work is that every time we do a heal with Elizabeth, we're going to increase the recovery rate. We're going to increase the basic stats of the person that got healed which her heals are, are always aoe so everybody gets the heal and then uh the ultimate move gauge will also fill up for herself so she'll be able to cycle her ultimate very very quickly so as you guys can see already in the fight whenever we do our ultimate and then we follow up with two skills we automatically get the ultimate back because look what happens right we gain we gain the gauge fill look i already have her ultimate back you guys saw, I just ulted and then I used the skill. So, the thing is, uh, with the Elizabeth as well, is that at 6 out of 6, right, her ultimate does change a little bit. So, one thing that does change about it is that it becomes from, uh, it goes from 5% attack related stats at 1 out of 6 when she's LR to 30% depending on your dupe level. So, you can get up to 6 out of, uh, at 6 out of 6, you can get to 30, right? And that's where she becomes really, really strong because you're get pretty much getting, like, uh, a Thonar attack buff but for free and uh, all by alting when you heal too right so that's why i think overall like this is pretty insane um for what you're able to achieve with uh this elizabeth right um so if you are a lower dupe like bear that in mind like you're probably not going to get as high attack as like i did in this video or anything like that but i mean it's still definitely something you want to achieve but look at that 100k attack on the sario right there guys is very very insane considering you know this character is very very old and the fact that the elizabeth margaret and intarmiel can give enough basic stats for sario to have over 100k attack is really really crazy man so um there is that we do get the attack related up right there because of the Margaret. And then uh, we do also have another ultimate with Elizabeth. As you guys can see, I've pretty much cycled this ultimate in this floor one alone. Probably like two to three times already. Um, so this is a little insane, right? The fact that I'm able to cycle the ultimate that quickly and just keep uh, getting the ultimate. It is a very strong ability for sure. And then uh, we do the attack up. We follow up with the single target. That's going to shred the gauge. And then we do go for another cleanse just to, just to heal us up right there. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, from this range, we're pretty much won the fight. And then another thing, too, is that Elizabeth's attack card, remember, it's a buff removal. Um, but there's no buffs on, on this face physically, but it will matter on the floor, too. And then uh, it is a heal, though, right? Which is very, very nice. So we do the uh, sorry ultimate. We follow up with the Elizabeth attack card. And boom, it's going to be a kill right there, guys. So now moving into the floor, too. Um, we're going to see how well this Elizabeth is able to perform. I did have to do a few cuts. So right there, I think I did uh, cut from uh, the initial clip, but it was the exact same like run. Like nothing's changed. Um, I just had a few runs where I forgot Liz had buff removal. And I was like, yo, like uh, I did the attack and it just instantly removed the buff from floor two. Because as you guys can see, he does have the buff, right? Um, so yeah, it is a little like, I, I do forget that at the very least, but um, she is great though because of that, right? She has buff removal, so she pretty much automatically replaces the green Elizabeth that people used to run. And I mean, that Elizabeth was really good though. Um, so I was thinking like, you know, if that Elizabeth got LR, she might have been like the best LR in the game, low key. Like if she got the LR, it would have been pretty insane because she already had really, really good skills. Uh, but I, I don't know, on the flip side though, right? Like this Elizabeth has the heal attack card. She has the heal ultimate with the attack related up. Um, she does also have the cleanse buff, which I think the cleanse buff is very big, um, at least for PvE. Uh, PvP as well can be really strong with it too, by the way, guys. So if you guys want to see a PvP showcase on the Elizabeth, I'm definitely down. Because um, she is pretty insane still in PvP, just for the fact that since God's team cannot be like stat lord, they literally just have like infinite stats, bro. And you just like keep stacking it up, right? Um, so yeah, uh, very, very good so far as you guys can see though. Like pretty much my run though, guys, I'll be honest. Like, this was probably my easiest Nidhogg run, uh, considering what the team was right here, right? Like, I obviously, like, didn't have, like, the craziest team, but imagine if I had, like, the optimal team, right? If I had Elizabeth, Mael, Margaret, and, and you know, I could have put Tarmiel, I could have put Freya. Like, uh, that would have been, like, the optimal team, and I would have probably beat this in, like, 15 minutes tops. You know what I mean? Like, this would probably be, like, the one of the fastest runs yet. Uh, but right here, obviously, since I'm running Sariel, like, I'm not going to be doing, like, insane damage even off the turn one. So, the, the run is going to take a little bit of time. And remember, this is on times two speed. 
So, yeah, it wasn't going to be, like, an instant clear or anything like that. But, like, I mean, still, you know, the fact that, like, we're doing this much damage, like, just because of the fact we have Elizabeth giving us the attack up, you know, giving us the, the basic stats for everybody. Like, it's just a very, very strong character. And I would highly recommend you guys LR her if you are in a situation where you just cannot beat Nidhogg. Because she makes it trivial, bro. Like, I, I think at this point, we need to get either a new Demonic Beast battle... Or we need to get some new type of PvE content that can kind of replace this because Nidhogg has been, uh, you know, beaten now. Like, I, I would say for the majority of players, if you have this Elizabeth, right? Like, this is going to be a character that if you get her, you're pretty much going to beat it with, like, whatever characters you have. And obviously, I do have, like, a lot more box you see than, like, the general player. But, like, you guys can still get an idea. Like, if I'm using Saryo and you guys are using Mael think about the difference right think about the difference like mile literally has like way more stats he has damage dealt built in he gets all stats for goddesses like he himself will probably be doing like double the damage my sariel is doing right now i've yet to even test uh, my L out but you guys can see like it's just easy with sariel man i'm literally going through this fight like on autopilot I'm literally just clicking cards and that's exactly what I was doing when I recorded this and I mentioned it as well when when I made a uh, tweet about it uh, uh, on Twitter I was like bro like I'm literally on autopilot like this if you could auto this like Nidhogg Demonic Beast battle if the AI was smart enough I could literally auto this bro which is crazy to think about right like it's just such an easy fight um now after the uh after the Elizabeth has come out so like remember right like the margaret's giving 40 percent basic stats outright you do also have the elizabeth giving 30 percent basic stats as she's healing and she's gonna be providing that quickly really quickly right because she's gonna get that that very very fast and then uh, with along that like you're just gonna be chilling and look at that guys like a floor two floor two run that quickly bro like look how easy that was it's just seamless right like it's just such a seamless run and then moving into the floor three here um uh, floor three i didn't i don't think i had too many issues with floor three i think the main thing for me was the second phase i was just like kind of stalling a little on um because they just gave me like the bad passes but i mean yeah like other than that um you know it, it's not going to be like such a super difficult fight um but yeah like the thing the thing also that you have to remember is that on floor three um because i'm running a sariel variant comp i can't really like kill turn one like right here you could actually kill turn one with the optimal team if i'm running freya mael um and then margaret liz like you can literally turn one kill this first phase and not have to do the extra stalling that i gotta do on this phase um but that's the thing like this is the team that's not the very best but it's to show you that you know she can be run with a red sariel and still beat it right that, that was the main that's the main point of this video like if you guys are watching this and wondering like amazing why'd you bring sariel why not bring like mael or something the reason why is to show you guys if i can beat it with sariel why couldn't you guys not beat it with mael or with like you know freya version right like freya comp anything like that you guys could easily do it bro that's why i'm saying this is such a a very very strong character and i i'm um, honestly like initially i wasn't like too excited about her release you know what i mean i was like okay you know it could have been a king i was a little uh, disappointed but after like using her and and testing her on like all content at least so far and i will have obviously the videos covering like the stuff that i have covered um but like so far i've been very very impressed with her performance and i think she I, honestly is a wlr release you know what i mean i think she is a, a very very good lr release for what it is so yeah i mean uh really good character man like i honestly like i have no gripes with her like the only gripe I, I would have would be the fact that it's like only pve but like even then it's still fine like it works in demonic beast like that's the thing people were like initially like concerned about like will it work in demonic beast and it does right it should you know what i mean like i mean the way it was worded it had to be so uh yeah man i mean she she is really good though like one, one of the better characters i've definitely like used on on the piece and i don't know how they're gonna balance the piece now man I, I really don't know you know what i mean like think it think about this right this elizabeth can be used on any demonic beast in the future 30 percent basic stats she gauge fills herself she can give you 30 percent attack related stats like bear that in mind bro so if we get any hard pve content in the future they're going to have to balance it around that elizabeth oh my alarm is sick uh, don't mind that y'all <laughs> mid recording of my alarm go off but yes um as i was saying like literally like if if uh another demonic beast drops like what can you really do bro like like they would have to balance it around this elizabeth to make sure that you know it's not too trivial because like elizabeth is that good right because because of the fact that she's usable on all these demonic beast battles and all that she's just gonna be a very very strong character man so yeah i mean you know uh really good uh character release I'm, I'm not gonna lie i think she was definitely done very well and uh yeah i mean no real complaints for me 
So uh, definitely a W release. So uh, as if you guys are wondering as well, like it, like which character you should like prioritize for your uh, LR. Um, I, I already made a video kind of covering that, but Elizabeth would be my priority over uh, Green Escanor at this point, just because of the fact that uh, Escanor doesn't really have like you know too much of a viability other than like I I mean now he does have in Heroes Arena. I will say he actually does right now. Um, but other than that right now, I don't think there's any other reason you'd want to, you know, like use them, right? Versus like this Elizabeth where I think you would get a lot more value, at least for like the general player in PvE, than, than necessarily like, uh, you know, someone else, right? Um, so yeah. Unfortunately there, as you guys can see, I did not actually kill with the, uh, the attack card with Liz right there. I honestly thought I would, uh, but I had to stall extra turns now because I didn't get the kill right there, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, but it did still work out for us in the, uh, in the long run though, because we still, uh, tanked this turn and then we just finished it off this turn anyway. Um, so it wasn't like that, uh, well, you know, completely bad. Um, but yeah, so there is that, boom. You get the ultimate, boom, and then we do the single target and now he's at 1 HP. Right, and then uh, the following turn here, we just get the kill, so he's gonna do the extort, he's gonna do the attack. Oh no, he actually just stances up instantly, so we just cleanse that and then uh, and then he's done, right? And we just waste all our cards, so. Yeah, and then, yeah, I mean, at this point, guys, you guys, you guys kind of get the idea. It's just, we literally on autopilot, we kill the boss, boom, we move into the final phase, and uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, it's GG. Uh, because once we get to this phase of the fight... Uh, the boss can't do anything. <laughs> like, we literally, uh, at this point in the fight, we're just gonna be pretty much stalling. You know what I mean? We're just gonna be stalling to get him lower than 30% every single turn. Boom, look at Elizabeth. One million! One million damage! That's why I was like, bro, that's crazy. You know, a million damage by AoE skill, by the way. And that is, uh, you know, HP defense too. Like, you know, it's not even attack. So the fact that she does that much is just a little insane, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, I hope this showcase kind of shows you guys, like, how strong this Elizabeth is, man. She is very, very good. Um, I'll definitely be doing more showcases on Nidhogg. Look at that, 3 million from Sario right there, by the way. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing more showcases on Nidhogg for uh, other team comps. And I do have, like, other variations as well, like a non-goddess variant with the Liz. Um, so I'll definitely be posting that either, like, today or tomorrow, we'll see. Um, but I'll definitely have some uh, videos out for at least Nidhogg runs uh, with this Elizabeth and even just like other PvE content in general. I definitely want to test her out on the other Demonic Beasts. I think she'll be like obviously a staple on them, but I don't think she's going to be like a speed run uh, type character or anything like that. Um, but, you know, for sure, definitely a character that will help if you were struggling in the first place on that Demonic Beast. Um, so yeah, very, very good character. But again, um, yeah, man, I mean, like there isn't really much else to say, guys. You know, the Elizabeth just, she cooks. You know what I mean? She cooks. Very, very good character. Um, the one thing, again, that like I'll probably mention, though, is like her ultimate being dupe dependent for the attack related stats definitely matters, though. Like, you know, going from 5% to that 30% is a big jump. So if if you don't really have high dupes on your Elizabeth, bear in mind that like the attack that I'm doing, you're probably not going to be hitting as hard. But like, you know, if you're using a better team, like if you have Freya and Mael and you have the optimal team, then like at this point, like, you know, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And you guys can see even with this team that I'm running right here, like I'm doing really, really well. Right. So like that, that's kind of uh, a good showing right there. Yeah, like, that's kind of just, like, my, the, my main thoughts on it, though, guys. Um, I would say, like, this team is definitely a viable team, though, if you have Sario, like, if you don't have Mile, then feel free to run this team. Uh, but what I uh, recommend, I mean, I could, I honestly, I could recommend this team. I mean, if I'm autoing it pretty much, then you definitely could use this team. But I would just say, uh, overall, probably just use, like, the Mile variant, um, and that's going to be a lot better. But, I mean, there you go, guys. 3.2 million Sario finishes off the boss. And, uh, yeah, man, very, very easy run, guys, so... That's pretty much it for the video though guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more, uh, you know, gameplay videos with this Elizabeth in Demonic Beast Battle and PvP, let me know in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys want to see, what comps you're, you're, you're trying to see. And uh, with that out of the way, man, that's going to be it. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video, man. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.